Okay, today we're going to go over lab exercise two. And in this lab, we're going to take one of the soil samples that we took in the rain garden in lab one, and we're going to use it to determine the soil water characteristic curve, which you guys will go over in class. But it's basically a relationship between the matrix soil potential and the soil water content. So what we did is we took one of the soil samples that you guys took out in the rain garden, and we shaved off the tops and the bottom of the rings to make sure that the soil was level with the ring. And we soaked them overnight in calcium chloride, what is it? 0.01 molar calcium chloride solution. We let them saturate and then we're going to set them up on a Tempe cell and over the next six weeks we'll be taking pressure readings and recording the difference in the weights of the Tempe cells. Okay, once your soil samples are all saturated, we're going to set them up into these Tempe cell apparatuses. And you're going to want to squirt some calcium chloride here in the bottom. And this just keeps the soil sample saturated. Then we have these ceramic discs that were also soaked in the calcium chloride solution overnight with the soil samples. And you're going to place this right down in the bottom. And the calcium chloride solution that you poured in here should cover right over it. Then, you're going to want to take one of these O-rings, and it helps to put some lubrication on them, and that'll help get the sample in there easier. And so you'll take your soil sample, after it's soaked and saturated, place it in the bottom, and it should just snap right into place. Yep. And once you have your ring secured into the bottom, you're going to have to soak this for another 24 hours, in the calcium chloride solution. And once we have it in the calcium chloride solution, we're going to want to raise the level until the soil sample is saturated completely. Okay. Now once your core has soaked for an additional 24 hours, you're going to put the lid on and the lid should snap into place just like the ring did when we put it in the bottom. And you're going to add a washer to each screw. And you're going to screw it in with the little wing nuts. Okay, once you have the lid on, we're going to start taking weights at different pressure settings. So the first weight you're going to take is your saturation weight. So before we hook it up to the pressure manifold, you're going to set it on this balance and you're going to record the weight. Then from that point, we hook it up to this pressure manifold and what we do is we have different pressure settings that range from 0 0.0115 bars to 0.75 bars. And at each pressure setting, we're going to take the weight of the Tempe cell on a daily basis until the weight is stabilized and we have a one know, standard weight for each pressure setting. So every day you're going to come in, you're going to clamp this to cut it off from the pressure manifold, unattach it, and weigh. Then you're going to set it back, attach it back, and then once we have a stable weight, we'll move on to the next pressure setting. Okay, now what we're going to do, I'll just explain the pressure manifold for you. Right here we have water, over here we have mercury, and we're going to use the water to measure the lower pressures. So at 0.015 bar in your lab, and at 0.029 bars, we're going to measure that here with the water that's at 15 centimeters of water, and it's also at 30 centimeters of water. So we'll put the setting on 15 centimeters, and then we'll continually take weights until we have one stable weight, and then we'll change to 30 centimeters of water. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll take weights again until we get a stable weight, and then from there, we'll move over to the mercury, and the mercury will be used for the 0.09 bar pressure setting and the point 1.8 bar pressure setting. And we'll do the exact same thing. We'll just take the weights until we have a stable weight. 
And then for the last two, 0.33 bar and 0.75 bar, we're going to move over here and take the pressure readings from this gauge. Now once all of this is done and we have all of our stable readings, we need to calculate the weight of the apparatus and we also need to calculate the weight of the soil. So what you do to generally get all of those is you're going to take this apart, you're going to take the ring out with your soil, you're going to empty the soil into a can just like you did for bulk density in lab one. So you're going to measure the can and the soil, get your wet weight, then you're going to put that soil in the oven overnight and then you're going to dry and get the dry weight. Then you're going to take the ring, the same ring that you used, put it back in the apparatus, put this all back together with the ceramic plate, the O-rings, you have to have the washers and everything, and you're going to take away to that so you have an apparatus weight. That way you'll be able to calculate that out of your final calculation.